Jesus said in Matthew 16, 6, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. And in verse 12, this is clarified to mean, Beware of the doctrine of the Pharisees. This means that the leaven is the doctrine of the Pharisees. In John 8, 44, Jesus says the devil is the father of the Pharisees and the father of lies. If the devil is the father of lies and the father of the Pharisees, then this means the Pharisees are lies and their doctrine is lies. So, if the leaven represents their doctrine and their doctrine is lies, then the leaven represents false doctrine or lies. In John 6, at the time of the Passover, which starts the feast of unleavened bread, Jesus tells his disciples in verses 32 through 35 that God gives the true bread of heaven and that he, Jesus, is the bread of life. Then in John 14, 6, Jesus says that he is the truth, the way, and the life. So, if Jesus is the bread, and Jesus is the truth, then the bread is the truth. So, if the bread is the truth, and leaven is the lies, then leavened bread refers to lies mixed with truth. In Revelation 17, 14, it says, The Lamb is the King of Kings. In John 1, 46, it says, Jesus is the Lamb. Therefore, Jesus is the King of Kings. Revelation 19, 13, and 16 says, The King of Kings is the Word of God. If Jesus is the King of Kings, and the King of Kings is the Word of God, then Jesus is the Word of God. If Jesus is the bread, and Jesus is the Word of God, then the bread is the Word of God. Therefore, Jesus' warning was this, Beware of the lies in the Word of God. This was also the warning in Jeremiah 8.8, 8, The pen of the scribes is in vain, but this word translated as vain was more often translated as lies or falsehood. So it says the pen of the scribes is in falsehood. It's well known, or it should be well known, that the tactics of the deceivers heavily involve disinformation which are lies that are mixed with truth. The truth is the bread, the leaven is the lies. They eat the bread and it tastes good, but they are unknowingly bringing lies into their body. This is how the beast gained its worshipers. It mixed lies into the word of God. Jesus said in Matthew 13:13 13, 13, that he spoke in parables because even in seeing and hearing they would not understand. Gabriel told Daniel in chapter 12 verse 10 that the wicked will not understand. This is because they eat the whole bread with the leaven instead of separating out the pure flour, the pure wheat. They Read the whole Word of God without separating the lies. So, the Feast of Unleavened Bread is actually the Feast of Pure Truth. For more information on the recent biblical prophetic fulfillments, see the playlist linked here. Thank you to those who make this work possible. If you like this video, please consider providing support. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you again soon.